Hey everybody, Dr. White here, AKA the Business Analysis Doctor. And today I'm gonna to be giving you guys seven tips on how to identify the right stakeholders for your project. So by now we all know that not identifying the right stakeholders can lead to misrequirements, rework, and unwanted scope creep. As BAs, we should take care to ensure that we're considering all the potential stakeholders that could be impacted by a project. So let's get to it. Tip one, initial project documents such as business cases, project charters, and contracts are a great way to get an initial list of stakeholders that would be impacted by a project. Now as BAs, it's important for us to know that these are only starting points for our stakeholder analysis, not an endpoint. So we take those documents, use those as an initial list, and then dig in further. Tip two, the sponsor. The sponsor is the person that originally identified the need, so they're likely to have some insight onto who might be impacted by the change. Typically, BAs can work with the sponsor to do some type of stakeholder nomination where the stakeholder nominates stakeholders and then those stakeholders can provide more defined stakeholders or stakeholders who might be more suitable for that particular project. Tip number three, a business rules analysis is a great way to identify regulators as well as other external stakeholders who might be driving policy-driven business rules throughout the organization as well as internal stakeholders who might be impacted by a potential change in business rules. Tip number four, observation and shadowing. Not only are these great methods of learning processes and eliciting requirements, these are also great methods for identifying stakeholders who may have been missed in original project documentation. So be on the lookout. Tip number five, organizational process assets or OPAs. Now this is a general term that refers to organization specific documents that can be used by the organization such as plans, templates, and procedures. Now more specifically, a document analysis can be performed on procedures and process maps in order to identify stakeholders. Here, you'll wanna keep an eye out for recipients and contributors of inputs, outputs, and deliverables that are referenced throughout the documents. Tip number six, another OPA is the Business Model Canvas. This is a strategic management planning tool that is used to identify key partners, customers, and resources. If you're fortunate enough to work at an organization who has already developed this document, it could be a gold mine for identifying stakeholders for your stakeholder analysis. Tip number seven, another OPA is the Lessons Learned document. The Lessons Learned document is essentially a recap of previous projects that documents project successes, failures, and opportunities for improvement. These Lessons Learned may document or mention stakeholders that were previously forgotten about or missed or brought in late in the previous project. As BAs, you're gonna to wanna to consider these comments in your new project so that you won't make the same mistake. So there you have it. There are your seven tips to identify the right stakeholders for your project. If you found this video useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Also, feel free to leave a comment below on any tips that you have to identify stakeholders as early in the project as possible. Until next time.